All right, so you probably have a situation right now. I made a video a little bit ago on this channel about brand accounts and YouTube and all the rigmarole that you have to go through here. You probably have a situation if you're clicking on this that you have a channel it's on your personal channel slot. You wanna move it to a brand account. Maybe you have to move it to a different Google account and you're really confused on how this works. I got this question via email from somebody after they watched my initial video. So I've set up kind of a test case scenario. I'm gonna give you all the context. I'm gonna give you even a couple things that I tried that didn't work so you don't waste your time. And uh, hopefully by the end of this, you will be right as rain as far as your YouTube setup. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. So let me just give you the context of the question that I got particularly. It's an individual. They've had a YouTube channel for a long time. They It's not a brand account, but this, this personal channel that they have is associated with a Google workspace, uh, like Google account, right, an email account. And they want to move it to a Gmail because they have to shut down that Google workspace account for whatever reason. I don't actually think that it's that important of a thing if you're moving from Google Workspace to Gmail or vice versa or whatever, because the way that I'm gonna show you how to do it, I think you can kind of circumvent all that and it's not really gonna matter. Um, so your mileage may vary, but uh, I just set up the exact scenario here, as you can see. So we have a couple, we're in an incognito tab, we're logged into a couple Google accounts, we're logged into this uh, Google Workspace one up here, this FBP apparel one, and we're logged into this random Gmail down here. Now, as you can see, when you click on that switch accounts button, you can see the channels that are associated with each one of those accounts. Now, this stuff right here, this Mark Szymanski and this FVP logo, this should reflect, I don't know why YouTube takes a long time to, to actually do that, but the point is that we have two channels here associated with these two different accounts. We're actually probably not even gonna need to worry about this one down here, but this is the test Gmail. We'll get back to that in a second. So let's just focus on this one right here. This is the channel we're looking at. Uh, to prove it to you, um, uh, prove a couple things to you. I added just a random video here just so we have that, so we know because presumably you're gonna have a lot of content on this channel and you want it to move over. That's kind of the whole point of this video, right? So that's our test video to make sure that everything moves. Now, if you're anything like me, you might be thinking right off the bat, is there any way that I could just like change permissions to another account and then just ultimately give that account ownership? Well, I tried that and I don't think it works. I'm gonna tell you how to do it. Uh, so if you go to YouTube Studio, on this tester channel and you come down to settings here and you say permissions because Google and YouTube has this weird thing where there's kind of like two different ways to set permissions effectively, especially when you get to brand accounts, you can either do it within YouTube or you can do it at the brand account level. This is our personal channel, right? If we come in here and we click invite and we click when we, and we type in the Gmail that we want to use, right? And then we can click select access and we can say manager, editor, et cetera. From my testing as of November 2025, you can't do what we wanna do. You can make them a manager, but then you can't remove the other person. You can't actually, you want an owner tag, right? You'd want like a Gmail address here and you'd want an owner and then you ultimately wanna remove this one. I do not think that you can do that from within YouTube here. That's not how that works. These are like specifically permissions for YouTube. So this is off the table from what I from what I can gather. So what do we do instead? If we go into like this channel right here, right? If we click into settings and we see that it's our tester channel and then we click advanced settings. This is how you check if your vi if your channel is a brand account or not. The easiest way to check, right? You click on your channel unless you know exactly what you're looking at. You look at move channel and it says move channel to a brand account. Okay, well, if you're moving it to a brand account, then it's not in one. So this is the situation that you'll probably find yourself in, right? Now let's click this button just for a second, okay? I want you to stick with me here. It's gonna ask you to log in, we'll do that and everything. I want you to I want you to see what happens if you just click that button. You click that button, you most likely put in your password and then it's gonna give you this, right? So it's gonna, it's gonna say, move your YouTube channel to a different account. It's gonna have your channel, your number of videos, your playlists, et cetera, your channel ID. No other accounts available. Why does it say this? The reason it says this is because you are inside your, in this case, your Google Workspace, my Fuel by Progress, like fppapparel.com account, right? You do not have, it's kind of weird. I don't understand why they don't just let you do it, like, like create an account here. You do not have a brand account at all, not just on that channel. Not, it's like you don't have one at created whatsoever on this account. So you can't move it anywhere because you don't have one created. So we have to go do that. So how do we create a brand account? Well, it's again, always a convoluted process. Let's go back over to our, let's look at view all channels. So I'm gonna view all channels on here and you can see that you have this. Again, from my other video, this is a personal slot like of your thing. You need to create a new channel. I know, I don't understand why we wanna do this either, but it's, it's just how it works. So I'm just gonna add this one. I'm just gonna call it another tester channel because apparently you can't say test channel in a, in a channel name for some reason. 
All right, so now we have this, and what does that mean for us? Well, that means that we now actually have a brand account. If we go to like manage your brand accounts, and this is always the way that I get to it, you just get to here. Now we have this, look at that. Like we didn't even know that we were creating that, but that's just kind of how Google works. Now you have a brand account and it is better. It's more versatile in a lot of ways with the permissions and everything like that. We'll come back to this, but that's literally what this created. If we come back to uh, switch account here and we come down to view all channels, you should see another channel here. So now we have two. Now this is actually a brand account again, and this is the personal slot. So you know that because we go back to the brand accounts and you can see that it has the brand account there. And again, one brand account to one channel, like all that sort of stuff. Now, this is important, right? Because now you're at this situation where you have your channel, like this is our good channel, this is our good data. And this is this brand new thing that you just created and you have no idea like, well, what, what should I do with this? How does this work, et cetera, whatever. Well, the protocol here is that we need to move this channel into this brand account. Basically just slide it in there and then this channel is gone and I added one little subscriber here just so we know that it moves. Um, so if we go over back into like our YouTube situation here where we were before, remember when we saw this and it didn't have uh, any accounts down here? If we refresh this and then we come down here to, um, we go through this cycle again, we say move to a brand account. Now we can see that it has this weird situation going on down here. It says another test channel already has a YouTube channel. Okay, well, it already has a YouTube channel, but in our case, and again, hopefully in your case, it doesn't like don't replace something that you already have data there and you're using. But in our case, it's just kind of like this little like empty YouTube channel. You just click this replace button and it's gonna take this channel, move it over into that brand account and now you're gonna have it there. Now again, this isn't gonna solve our problem fully. We're, we have some more steps because it's still gonna be all in the same thing. But just understand the problem. There's no way to take a personal slotted channel from your Google Workspace to a Gmail. Like there's there's not, as, as far as I can tell, you can't do a permission based. You can't just change the email address because maybe, maybe, but I doubt it because it's like a whole different type of system. Uh, this is the only way. We're gonna have to bring it into that brand account and then we're gonna have to change the permissions that way and you can definitely do it in that fashion. So we're gonna move it down here. We're gonna click replace. You gotta go through all these things. You gotta like make sure that you know all this stuff. Now, some stuff says it's gonna be permanently deleted from this channel, right? Not our, this is our new blank, completely blank channel. It's not gonna be our one with our content. So I understand what should proceed, delete the channel, and then it's gonna say your your channel name and icon will be uh, updated across YouTube, channel ID will not change, some things will be tra uh, transferred, like creator demographics, all this stuff. I am obviously doing this with a very small <laughs> sample here. As I understand it, subscribers, videos, playlists, all that stuff's gonna come over. It looks like most of your data and everything is gonna come over. I'm pretty sure this is just moving your channel, okay? Uh, and this is the only way to do it. So if you're really in a pinch, then you have to do it this way. Uh, so let's see what well, let's see what happens when we move this. It says our channel has been successfully moved. It may take some time, et cetera, whatever. So if you go to switch accounts and you see view all channels now, you come here and you can see that your personal slot no longer has a channel, okay? That was desired because it moved that channel over and it replaced the other channel on YouTube. Again, understand that these are, we're looking at channels here. There's also these brand account things that are technically different, but only one-to-one -one in relationship. So personal channel, completely gone because we moved that data over to here. So this is just now no channel back to like the very beginning of like how your YouTube would be. Over here, we have a channel that you created. Again, the little thing hasn't populated, but this is the same channel. It has that same subscriber. It has that same video. It has everything like that. And this is now associated with our brand account. To prove it to you on the channel side, if we just go in here and we go to view your channel, we see that it has a subscriber, it has the video. Okay, all is pretty much good there. This is, if you watch that other video, this is pretty much the standard behavior that I you know, always have and recommend. I have my personal slot, there's nothing there. I don't really deal with that at all in these Google Workspace accounts and everything. And then I have the uh, brand account channel and that, that's what we have here. Now, again, what did we do earlier? We made a brand account via a channel that was brand new and was like kind of like an empty shell, right? So that is what this is associated with right now. If we go back over to our brand accounts thing, you can see it's still here. It still says another test channel. And the reason for this is because the brand account names don't sync to the channel names. It's kind of confusing and silly and weird or whatever, but it's like you could come in here and you could change the name of this brand account and it wouldn't matter. It wouldn't affect your channel at all. So I would recommend changing this to something else. But for now, we're just going to keep this brand account as this this name. So all this is fantastic, right? Like, but what the hell did we do? Like, wh where are we at now? Well, the, what we're at is we have a brand account. 
which is great. We have this channel that's tied to that brand account, but we haven't fixed our problem in this particular instance because this Google account, right? In my case, this uh, Gmail, or the, I'm sorry, this, this fepapparel.com, it's going away. We don't want this. What we want to do is we want to get this channel into this account now. So how do we do that? Well, that's actually not too difficult. What we're gonna do is we're gonna copy whatever email that you want to send this to. Again, I don't think it matters if it's a Gmail or a or a Google Workspace, but you need to come into your brand account situation. Whatever you named this thing earlier, if you change the name, you can change that in here in these settings, and you can change this just to make it cleaner and whatever. But regardless of whatever this is called, you gotta come into Manage Permissions. Sometimes it does that. I don't understand why it doesn't come up the first time. And then you come into Manage Permissions, you add a person, and you say whatever email that you want to send this to. It's gotta be a Google account, but it could be a Gmail or a Google Workspace. So then you come down to Choose Role, and this is up to you. Now, if your goal is to ultimately make this the primary owner, they have owner and manager. If you wanna make it the primary owner, what I would say is just make it owner for now invite. So now you have in this brand account, whoever has access to the brand account has access to the channel that is associated with it, right? So we're kind of going up this chain a little bit to set this permission. So now I've invited this, I'm going to go accept the invite. That's just an email. So just click accept the invitation. And it's going to give you something like this. And you can accept that. Now, if we come back in here, and we click manage permissions, we can see that we have our original like Google account, our Google workspace, and then we have this Gmail that's now an owner. So what did that do for us? Like, realistically on the front end. If we go to reload this, it's a little confusing the way that you're seeing it here because this is all in one tab, but presumably you would have like maybe logged in on one and logged in on the other. If we go up to our um, our switch account again, look at what we have here. We have, this is the account section, right? So like this area right here is our, is again, our FPP apparel one. We have our, our main personal channel and then we have this channel, right? Well, look at what we have down here now. This is not what this used to look like, right? This account, th what this means is that this Gmail and this Google Workspace have access, have like permissional access and that channel is associated with those Google accounts. So now it's down here as well. So technically, even though it's a little confusing, I could be logged in to this browser via my Google Workspace and my Gmail, and then independently, like, that's not really what we're trying to do here, but you get the idea, is like, you could independently be uh, dealing with these. So it makes more sense if you, you know, logged out and were somewhere else. But the point is that these are, in in our case, these these Google accounts apply or they, they belong to us, right? But that's how you would also do permissions if you wanted to get other people involved and all that sort of stuff. So regardless though, where are we now? Well, we actually have moved it. Like it's the owner of it. You could go over here and you could go log, log into your Gmail somewhere else and you can manage your account and everything like that. And it's associated with your Gmail. Okay. So the last question is we want to delete this account. Ultimately, we want to get rid of this. And we're not, I'm not going to delete it necessarily. You can work out, work out that for yourself, you know, by canceling your subscription or whatever. But what if you wanted to get fully detach this channel that has been over here for a long time? It was in the personal. Now it was in a brand account. Now you want to put it over in this, in this Gmail. How do you do that? Well, you can come back over to your brand account settings, okay? And then down here, you want this Gmail to be the primary owner. So you click primary owner. And then you say transfer. Now make John's the primary owner. I think it's going to give us an error here. And it says primary ownership can only be transferred to your user who has been a manager for more than seven days. So I can't do it for you physically, time-wise, okay? But the answer to the question and the, the, the whole, the last thing to wrap this up in a bow is you make this new one after seven days. You do this and you wait seven days. And I've just done this with some other accounts as I was moving them to, to my things in, in different circumstances. You click this primary owner button. You press transfer. You, and, and it, once it goes through, after seven days, it will go through. Then you can go and you can remove, this X button will be like, you know, you have an X button over on the uh, other one then, and then you can exit out of there. And then what will happen is that you would come back to a screen like this, and you won't see this under this, this Google Workspace one anymore. You will see it down here, and all of your stuff will be moved over, and it'll be in the Gmail, and everything will be perfect, and you can go ahead and you can delete your, um, your, um, your old one, your old Google Workspace or whatever if you don't need anymore. The one thing I would tell you is, probably should have said this at the top, but regardless of if you're doing any of this, if you're ever playing around with any of this, go to Google Takeout and download the stuff that you want. Like just go to Google Takeout and um, download like you know anything that you want to do here before you start messing around. It's in my opinion, it's not really that great because like, it's not like you could just snap your fingers and push it all back. But the point is that like, you know, it, you know, there's, there's everything Google oriented in your life is in here and you could kind of like get rid of, you can, you know, 
basically, um, you know, export a lot of it. I'm not really sure. It's not like you can export a YouTube channel, I think, and then re-upload it, but just consider that, you know, as a, just a, a general bit of Google advice. So yeah, I think we've pretty much covered this. Um, you know, the only other thing that I would say, I guess, randomly is if you wanted to some reason move it back out of a brand account, which I can't imagine why, you could come back into your advanced settings on any one that is associated with a brand account, any channel that's associated with a brand account, and then move your channel to a Google account or a different brand account. I will say that this whole process is extremely convoluted and does not need to be this, this, this complex. However, from my experience, it does seem like it's pretty malleable. Like, you're not gonna, as long as you don't replace a channel or in like a brand account and a channel that's associated with a brand account that you, you know, you you needed, it's it it does seem to work. Um, you know, I think I think they had so many instances where they needed to do this for people that were like bigger names, possibly, or like you know, just the transition, the evolution of YouTube that you know it actually does seem to work. So hopefully, a lot of this made sense. Um, tried to give you as much context as possible. I know sometimes people don't like long tutorials, but you know, I this is kind of sensitive, so I was hoping that uh, I could kind of pull out all the stops as far as like where you might go wrong on some of these things. But ultimately, that it's pretty much that. If you have a personal slot personal channel YouTube slot, you have to create a brand account, like a shell one, you have to move it to the brand account, then you're still within your same Google account. So then you have to kind of uh, transfer or like bring it, you know, give ownership to the uh, to the other Google account. And then you can ultimately make it the primary owner and delete it off your old one. So I think that pretty much solves the question that I was asked directly. If you guys have any questions throughout all that, let me know in the comments down below and I can make other supplemental stuff there. But um, yeah, this has been fun. Appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. And I'll talk to you in the next one.